So today we're going to talk about the negatives uh, and it's very important to emphasize on the negatives because I've explained in multiple videos that if your assumptions itself are wrong, how do you make the right investment? Uh, for example, I'm standing, I mean this is supposed to be one of the most premier luxury, ultra luxury communities in Dubai. This is the Acres by Miras. We're comparing this with Oasis by Ima. The properties that I'm targeting over here are 15 million plus. But do you see those? You saw the cables. Now, like for example, if I have an ultra luxury mansion, but of course I'm not going to have the ultra luxury mansion over there. The ultra luxury mansions will be located on that side, which is a good set because you get a skyline view. But let's talk about the people who invested in this section of the community, where all the cables are there. See, now there, I know there are investors who consider that a health hazard and are not. So we, we straight wipe out a big portion. We're talking about Europe, Japan, parts of US, part of the UK. You, you straight wipe out a big chunk of uh, potential investors that we can sell the property to or rent the property to. Now, another one. I want to show you this. Is that a school? Is that a hospital? That's actually a villa community. So it's called Rukan. Now, another example, see now far over there, the little brown house that you can see over there. So that's called Serena by Dubai Properties. And no offense against Serena, but I think the prices are sort of peaked. So if you see the kind of houses over there, the people investing with Serena, of course, made profit. I'm not, they made profit and they're good, but I think the prices have peaked because once in 2026, when all these new houses come on board, I told Dubai is a con it's a 20, 25 year old market. When these new products come on board, uh, you have a choice. Would you buy 3.5 million? You get a three bed over there. Would you buy for 3.5 million a three bed over there? Or would you buy float ceiling windows, nice and bright, great community amenities. The amenities itself in nowadays, the communities, are, are unbelievable. That's the competition now, right? Because people are now, what is Dubai selling? Dubai is selling lifestyle. Dubai is selling luxury. Now, right next to Rukan. Now, if it is just Serena, it's decent. But Serena, that's your cap, right? The three beds are 3.5, 4.5, 5 million. That's your cap, right? You got Rukan over here. I don't want to give further comments on Rukan, but I think my body language itself expresses a lot. But after Rukan is my biggest problem. That's Ripo Taj village. So again, you know, I don't want to get too rash on, uh, on, 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 on video. But so these are my few of my concerns that, okay, you've got Rukan, Serena is okay, Ripo Taj village, you've got those cables. So you need to make sure they're not over here. But today's video is uh, like, for example, yes, there was the Acres launch today. So it's a fantastic launch. But, you know, I was so specific about my product selection. I only chose the six bed. I know the pr price is around 15 million, but that is the only floor plan that I really enjoyed. We can have a very long discussion about why I chose that particular floor plan. But there are two other launches. Now, similarly, we, uh, now, I made a video saying uh, all the villa communities in Dubai. So this comes between zone 5 and zone 6. So zone 1 and 2 being your Jumeirah Road. We're talking about the Palm. Zone 2 is Sheikh Zayed. We are between zone 5 and zone 6. You can see Emirates Road, the board over there. So that's, that's basically Emirates Road. And a lot of development is happening over here. There are two new master communities by Damak. Um, one is called Sun City. And the other one is Damak Islands. Now, Damak Islands I'm very interested on because it revolves around the Jumeirah Islands concept. Again, in every launch, there are certain products that are interesting. Over here, the six bed on the lagoon had a fantastic floor plan. Uh, I was very excited about that particular product. Now, uh, Imar Oasis, if you want me to give you a little more critical opinion about that, let me know in the comments. Now let's head over to uh, the new launches by Damak and I'll tell you which products I'm interested in that, pro in that community. Okay, so believe it or not, this, this area is a bit funny because, uh, let me explain it to you. So, um, 
Sherry Woods by Miras. Now, believe it or not, this technically is not one of the best projects of Miras, but imagine it looks so good despite this because Miras always talks about City Walk, they talk about uh, Blue Water Islands, La Mer. So, th these are their key projects. Similarly, uh, next was Mira Oasis by Imar. Again, it's not one of the best projects of, of, of Imar. But that's the beauty of Dubai and learning in general, right? They're constantly learning from their mistakes. So now, this plot behind me, Damak has basically bought this plot. Opposite me, now from the other side over there, you can see uh, Nashama Town Square. So all these, you know, Nashama Town Square, Miras and Mira Oasis, especially especially Nashama Town Square, Mira Oasis, Eden, Sun, they all had smaller floor plans. Now, people don't exactly, I think those small floor plans, at some stage, I know investors made profit, but at some stage, I think they will sort of stagnate in prices because these new products that are coming up, people are really working on their floor plans because that was one of the biggest concerns expressed by end users and investors. Now, let's just look at the plot, you know. So, that is why Sun City is not a big community. You have only around 748 villas. In fact, that park that you see over there is going to be like shared between uh, Sherry Woods and uh, Damak Sun City. So it's going to be like Damak Sun City by Sherry Woods, uh, which I think is a very positive sign that Damak is really getting into the big leagues. They've upgraded their contractors. So this is the plot for uh, Sherry Woods. Same situation with the cables. We need to be careful about that, but you can see that the cables are on the other side of the road. It's not exactly adjacent to, um, to Sun City. Now, what I'm really excited about is on the other side where they're going to develop this island community. Because Jumeirah Islands, the only other island community is Jumeirah Islands. Now, very successful product, few villas. So let's talk about Sun City itself. Now, Sun City, it's a mix of like four and five bedrooms. The five bedrooms are corner, four bedrooms. So we are focusing a bit on negatives, a bit, bit more, a bit more critical thinking or overlook of properties. Now, if you study the four beds in Damak, the only sort of negative is that there's no maid's room. The the bedroom, there's a bedroom on the ground floor, which is fantastic. That 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 itself, that one fact, bedroom on the ground floor, you're catering to a huge Asian community because. Asians, so when I talk Asians, it's not just Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, uh, Sri Lanka. I'm talking about even Japan. Because, you know, parents get old. The older parents stay on the ground floor. Kids go upstairs. It's a very common tradition. So you straight hit a large segment. You must understand just India, Pakistan alone, the population is, is massive, right? So uh, that's good. But there's no maid's room. So the last bedroom is your option, whether you want to use it as a maid's room or... Um, a bedroom problem number one problem number two now in particularly this floor plan i observe that the powder room and the bedroom share a common bathroom i'm just i'm just letting it out i mean see it's always we're doing a risk ass assessment here right pros and cons right i'm not i'm just saying that this is the fact so this is how i normally work with investors i'm like see, this is the fact now it's your call in this particular community i prefer the five beds because the five beds are corner units I, I always love corner. I've always I've spoken several times the importance of ha investing into corner units. It's uh, less rent supply. People like it. Uh, whether you're renting a property, you're selling it, it's normally the first ones that people want to choose. It's a little more private. Um, like even over here, if you look at this, the ones in the corner always have a certain kind of an edge benefit. It's amazing, you know. I mean, Sherry Woods, Miras doesn't talk about it, but it looks really nice. The community is not bad. So the five beds, I'm really interested uh, because all ensuite. Bedrooms, uh, a powder room is separate. Again, there's a bedroom on the floor. So it ticks all the boxes. It's corner. The price point makes sense. I, I like how Damak has structured the payment plan in general, where it's 1% every month. There's a bump every six months. So I think it is a decent product to invest in. Damak Islands, now mansions, I've made an entire video on the importance of mansions. Now, understand the product value is it, it spikes a little bit, but let me take you to a mansion. It's a bit dark, it's, uh, the sun is setting, but so I think it'll, uh, by the time I hit the mansion, it'll be a bit dark, but let's see a mansion. I'll explain to you see, the difference between a mansion and a villa. 
is that mansions normally have this nice big basement pool we're looking at around 8000 square foot so there's a particular segment of investors who want houses 8000 square foot built up plus the plot size we're looking at 10000 square foot plus now a mansion on a lagoon is something an investor would really look forward to now it's your call whether you want a mansion on a golf course or a mansion on a lagoon but that's a very very interesting product so let's have a look at the mansion so these are the two products i want to talk about majorly today a new master plan is always exciting for me like a new master plan if you manage to get into the first cluster you're always making profit just by default now for example damak lagoons the people who invested in the last cluster i think are a little stressed out right now and now another reason why i'm being so picky and so critical you'll find a little change in my videos like you'll find my older videos in dubai creek harbor Rush it out from Marina. I was very optimistic. I was like, yeah, yes, invest, invest, invest. 2021, I was like, go, go, go. But now I'm a little, I, I'm, I'm treading very carefully on products, on investments because, see, the situation in UK, Canada, Europe is bad, but it turns out to be positive for Middle East. Dubai and Saudi are looking very good. Very interesting markets to invest in. So it's looking good. But the US market, is not looking ideal and the durum is back to the dollar if the if the market crashes if at some stage there will be a correction you want to invest into the right products see i'm not worried about market crash see uh, there are products where the market goes up or the market goes down your your investment is safe there are certain products so which products will you face a loss for a certain period and it climbs back up and which products you're safe at that's what you should be looking into as well in case of a correction market crash i'm not it's funny uh and i'm indian i went to pakistan recently and 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 pakistan the market is really dipped at this stage i was looking at options over there as well i was like i enjoy a market and i'm not saying i enjoy a market crash but in a market crash there's always opportunity for investors so a market crash is not a bad thing for investors but only that you need to be very careful with product selection Now, let's check out a mansion, and this is why I tell people, hey, you know what? Let's schedule a call. On the call, I'll explain what products we can uh, choose in order to save from a market crash. Which are the products? Now, I, I can't exactly tell online, hey, you know what? Don't invest in these products. You're going to get a loss. <laughs> I don't want to take get any issues with developers, you know. So there are pros and cons. That's what I'm trying to say. So now let me show you the mansion. Very very important investment. Again, the supply is very low into this product. We're looking at a two percent supply. So these are factors that you have to consider: demand, supply, what product, what price per square foot, what is the location. So these are the things that you should be looking into. Let's check out the mansion.